What's up? It's your girl Reese and welcome back to my space. If you're new, welcome. Happy to have you. Today we are going back to our bread and butter. We're doing fall workwear. You know, I love to look a little chic for work. Even though I am working from home, I put together some amazing pieces for those of you who are going into the office. So starting off with no surprise, we are doing a winter white, even though it's not winter yet, but one cannot ever be too prepared. So here we are doing a knit sweater and my white palazzo pants that you guys have seen a hundred thousand times but honestly if you don't have them already what is you doing sis because they're so good they go with everything they go for all seasons and yeah period like i don't feel like i need to explain more <laughs> you need them anyway so love the knits that's something that you can reuse for years and years and wear it casual dress it up wear it to work do the most with it and pair it with the pants an all white monochrome look one you look expensive two you look probably better than everybody at your office not gonna lie not gonna lie like can you imagine walking into the office like this and say hello hello i have arrived in my all white ensemble because i am that <laughs> ready for business in my all white like i don't care and that's how you know you mean business because you're wearing all whites and you could get yourself dirty, but you ain't. That's because you're bossy and you're badass, so you're not gonna get dirty. Anyways, moving on to number two. Number two is this really, really, really nice muted mustard top dress. I think you can wear this as a mini, but I wore it as a top. Um, I just love it. I love the front pleats. I think it's just so unique. It has the big sleeves, which I love, the volume. And then I'm making it, keeping it simple. I'm wearing it with some cigarette pants in black and a, and a pair of black pumps, which I love, which I love. Honestly, you can't go wrong with this at all. On to number three, another monochrome look, cause you know, your girl just loves monochrome. I just feel like it's the best way to carry yourself, or it's foolproof, basically. If you wear one color or the same tones of the same color, uh, you kind of just look put together. So here I'm wearing my Oaken 4 top with a tie and pants or trousers and it's in this like muted orangey fleshy color which i think is so so nice it's perfect for the fall like tonal colors for the fall love it love it can't get enough of it and here i paired it you know i went to punch it up a little bit with the white look i did all white even the shoes here i wanted to give it a little little something so i did an animal print short kitty heel um palm and you know what sometimes you just want to get a little pizzazz a little pizzazz. Ain't nothing wrong with a little pizzazz at the office, you know? Business on top, party on your feet. Yeah. Okay, on to the next look. This one is one of my favorites. You guys know if you've been here for long that I despise a traditional button up white blouse for work. It's just literally the bane of my existence. I can't. I, I hate it. I hate it so much. So all of my white blouses are a little bit more fun. So this one's super oversized, longer. I love it. It's loose. And so I paired it with some black pants that are tighter with a pair of pumps. So it's like sleek clean. And then I threw on, this is super throwback because y'all remember when Alexander McQueen scarves with the business, like everybody was wearing it. Well, this is that, an Alexander McQueen scarf, but it's not the um, skull one that everybody had. I have it too. I just haven't pulled it out. But honestly, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, up this a little, give it a little jazz, do something fun with this. So I threw on the scarf and if you have a top that has a bigger collar, I would put it under the collar. This one doesn't have a huge collar, so uh, I'm in the lookout for one with a better collar so you can like completely hide the scarf underneath and then just have it dangling. I think it's such a good chic look. Do this with a red lip, pull your hair back in a bun, wear your spectacles. I think it's super clean, super chic. Here, of course, I did not pull my hair back because when do I ever do that? Um, but that that's a look, that's, that's a work look. You walk in, you're like, yes, hello, I work for Vogue. Just kidding. I mean, I should be working at for Vogue, but I'm here. But don't mean I can't dress like I work at Vogue. <laughs> okay, and last but not least, I wanna say this is one of my favorites from this video, but like I really enjoyed all of the looks from this video. So the last one is a skirt outfit and y'all know I like skirts. I'm not a big dress girl in the fall winter, but this skirt, I love a pleated skirt. And guys, I normally always tuck shirts, blouses into my skirts, but this one's a little bit different. 
I found this blazer, which is so cute, double breasted. And it did cut a little bit low, so I did bobby pin it up a little bit to be work appropriate because I didn't want to take away from the blazer look and wear a shirt underneath. So you can butt, I mean, you can pin it up as high as you need. But this is, girl, imagine going to work in this. I already know if I was at the office still and I came to work in this, I bear compliments. Compliments come in at me so fast, I can't even catch them all. Like, I already know this is. This is fire. This is 100% work appropriate. Bouge as hell. Like, come on, you're wearing a blazer as a top? Girl, and then you have this beautiful pleated skirt on your, girl, what? Somebody, COVID, please go away so I can go to work and slay, slay in this look. Paired it with my Jimmy Choo lace up. Love those, those are one of my old faithful shoes and they are super comfortable and super chic. So this, this is this is the top favorite but honestly like i said i like them all anyways that's it for me i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys are happy that we're back into workwear let me know actually how often you want it i know before we were doing it once a month but covid's been a little weird so i didn't want to you know push out work content with everybody's working at home like should i be doing a work from home video but honestly me working from home is mostly in robes <laughs> So let me know. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, hit subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you guys next video.